a warning that an attack on Governor Fubara is an attack on the entire Ijo nation. Meanwhile, members of the National Peace Committee, such as the former head of state, retired General Abdul Salami Abubakar, and the Catholic Bishop of Sokoto Diocese, Matthew Hassan Kuka, have been urged to intervene in the crisis before it escalates. Sonny? Thank you so much. I'm your body secret. It is important we step up prayer for the River State Governor for the government and people of River State. The next three weeks is critical in River State. We need to stay up prayer. And well meaning Nigerians need to speak up. The governor need to be extra careful within these three weeks. The desperation of Yesomuike is already hitting the rooftop. Only God knows why a man who has served the state for eight years insists on capturing that state and holding it in bondage. Only God knows. Yesu Mike is acting a script. And he is determined that within the next three weeks, it's like saying the die is cast. Because he is doing everything possible to ensure he will not lose the control of the local government. We send Fobra at government house as the governor of River State. He knows the implication of Sam Fobra appointing solar administrators to take over the local government. Those solar administrators will actually open a can of war when they look at the records the income and the leakages Wike is desperate to ensure Fobaras appointed solar administrators will not take over the local governments uh, this day and the list story itself wiki apologizes to rivers for choosing fubara as successor pdp insists it's in full control and uh, two key riders there police explain takeover of legislators quarters secondos blames fct minister for rivers political crisis i think the old concept of godfatherism in yes. nigeria really you know, particularly uh, when you choose, when you claim to have chosen a successor. I think that we need to be careful if we mm -hmm. want democracy, you know, to truly thrive in Nigeria. Uh, owning something and, and behaving as the lord, you know, lord of the manor of a state, you know, state capture, as mm -hmm. somebody described it yesterday, yeah. uh, uh, you know, uh, on air, is really not something that uh, will ultimately all go well for our democracy. That was why the lawmakers who defected, who ordinarily in a country governed by law, ought to have known that they have lost their seats, they made a law to say, as long as election had not been, had not been conducted, in which case, Local government chairman should continue in office. And that is the bone of contention in River State now. Those local government chairmen are in Abuja trying to shop for and buy a court order that can help them 
to remain in office illegally. All these things are playing itself out, not for the good of Nigeria. Those involved are not seeking for the good of the Nigerian people. They are not there to serve the people of River State. There is no justification for this desperation that is manifestly seen in River State. Mike is coming with a particular game plan. His plan A is to see what he can do to use the judiciary and the PDP national chairman to ensure the lawmakers who constitutionally have lost their seats will be accepted back into PDP as if they never defected. That is the effort being made. Or in the alternative, the PDP national chairman should ensure PDP will not take any legal action to enforce the law, which said when you defect, you have lost your seat. That's Wilson Wicke's plan A. Wilson Wicke's plan B is a peace move. They have drafted the peace committee led by Absalom Abubakar to put pressure on Sam Fubra to accept the matter, whatever led the House Assembly that is pro wicked, they have defected and constitutionally lost their seats. Abdullah Abubakar and Hassan Kuka and others are to put intense pressure on Sam Fobra, arguing strongly for the sake of peace in River State. Let bygone be bygone and let the lawmakers continue. If Sam Fobra fall to that trap, his impeachment is concluded and nobody will help him. Let us pray he will not fall to the trap of Yosu Mwike's peace move because it's a setup. It's hypocrisy of the highest order. Yosu Mwike is not looking for peace between him and Fubra. He will never allow that. He has crossed the Rubicon, a point of no return, and is determined to ensure Fubra is removed from office, directly or indirectly, legally or illegally. Does not matter what the law says. What is at the forefront of the Mwike group is that Fobra must be removed from office. But they are going to bring in other statesmen. Good luck, Jonathan will be drafted in. Oh, tell him Fobra, let these people continue in the interest of peace. But if he allows it and bow to that inconsequential, good for nothing pressure, then the, the die is cast. You see, why would somebody be putting pressure on Sam Fobra to make peace with Yosem Wicked? No reasonable man would do that. Because the question is, for what purpose? Is it that 
Fubra should make peace with Mike to allow Mike to capture River State. And the resources of River State will go to a certain group of people. Is that what other statesmen will be asking for? Or peace committee will be asking for? That is very strange. Very, very strange. You see, we need to pray. God is at work. What is playing out in River State is the hand of God. Let God continue to strengthen Sam Fobra and help him to be very courageous. He must probe you so weakly. Let it be made public. The looting of the resources of River State. The nation needs to know about it. The whole world needs to hear it. This pressure on Saint Fobra to make peace with Mwiki is meaningless. It's not for the interest of the river people. It's not something we should encourage. So let us pray it shall not stand. There is peace in River State. Let every office holder do his work. Fobra, do your work as governor. We can be in Abuja and do your work as minister of FCT. That is how we can secure the peace of River State and by extension, the peace of Nigeria. We cannot be asking for peace so that one man will hold others in bondage. It doesn't make sense. For grass should wake up. These enemies of the people have another game plan. If the judiciary cannot be manipulated, influenced, compromised, to issue a pronouncement that is not based on the law so that the lawmakers that defected to APC will continue by an illegal pronouncement of maybe is procured from a Abuja Court of Appeal or somewhere else. If they fail in that area and peace move that is just aimed at setting off for them, failed also the next game plan is to cause violence in the vast states and pressurize Tinubu to declare a state of emergency in the vast states. Who are you to say Martin Samebule is not the House of Assembly? If Martin Samebule says that because the governor of River State failed in his duty to conduct local government election, and that I, Dr. Wan of Sike Samuel of Soruchi, who stand up by the oath of office I took, and the certificate of return I was issued when I contested my second tenor election that we should remain in office, so shall we remain in uh, office. The aim of that state of emergency will only be to remove the infobra. These are the things that are on the card. All we need to do is to pray and speak up for the interest of the good people of River State, for the peace and prosperity of the good people of River State. 
Let there be no violence in labor state. If a local government serves his tenure and his tenure expires, there is no law that extends that tenure by six months. No such law. A court had made a, their position known. They have ordered that the extension done by any house of assembly is illegal and shall not stand. Let the local government chairman obey the government at the expiration of your tenure, go home and do something else. Let River State enjoy peace. The House of Assembly members that defected and lost their seat, they should patiently go through due process. If they are able to procure a court decision from appeal court or whatever, good for them. If they fail and the judiciary allow, decided to allow their loyalty to rest on the law, let those who have lost their seats go home and try again next time INEC is conducting election to fill the vacant positions. Let there be peace in River State. That will serve the interest of the Nigerian people. If you believe in the peace and prosperity of the good people of River State, share this video. Be part of what God is doing by subscribing to the channel. God bless you.